Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing a oil change on a 2013 Mercedes C250. We're going to need a vacuum pump, oil, oil filter from Mercedes, and a 27 millimeter wrench. There's the oil filter. I'm going to put this all the way in. So there's a gasket right here, right here, and right here. Bye. Now you want to get your new gaskets. You want to oil them. Get them pressed in right. Now you just put it back on the way to get out. Get your new filter. Doesn't matter which way it is. Boom! <laughs> You always want to make sure your dipstick is clean before you put it back. Whenever you use a funnel, make sure it's clean. Even if it's new, just wipe it down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did you get up here? <laughs> it's his car, guys. It's his. Go ahead and take this out. Make sure it's clean so you're not leaking anywhere. Your surrounding area is also clean before you put it back in. Clean your cap before you put it back. When you're done changing the oil, a good rule of thumb is to start your car for a few minutes and then turn it off and check the dipstick. Another rule of thumb is to check it the next day as well. So this is the maximum and this is the minimum. So if your oil is warm, it's gonna be more thin. So when it's thinner, it should be a little higher. So you wanna be right here. If it's colder, then it's all right if it's a little lower, but you always wanna be above the minimum. The way to check it is put in the dipstick. After you clean it, wait a couple seconds and then check it again. And you're good. Easy. And I got gloves this time. Always make sure to dispose of your oil properly because we save the planet here. We keep the environment clean. You should too! <laughs> make sure you dispose of your oil. What you can do is put it back into the empty bottle and send it to any auto shop, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, I believe they take it. Save the environment. Save the turtles. <laughs>